To set up the Quick Capture Apple shortcut, first click the URL we provide. It'll open up this page that has the name of the shortcut, which is called Save Idea. And then you'll see a button down here that says Get Shortcut. So go ahead and click that. And you might be prompted to allow this website to open up the shortcuts application. So just go ahead and click Allow. The Apple shortcut application will open up and it'll give you some information about how the shortcut is going to appear inside your Mac. You'll also get the name and then a button that we want to click that says Add Shortcut. Here it'll ask you for two pieces of information, the first one being your Workflow API key and the second one being the save location, where inside your Workflow account you want your information to be stored. So for the first one, we need to go to workflow.com slash API dash key. So we'll go ahead and do that. So once you open up that page, you'll see something like this that has a button that says create API key. We'll go ahead and click that and it'll generate a brand new API key for us. Now it's very important that you don't share this API key with anyone or post it anywhere public. This is basically like a password to send information to your Workflow account. So make sure you keep this secret. And then we'll want to click on copy and go back to the shortcut application. All right, we'll go ahead and then paste the API key here. And then we'll paste the Workflow Save Location URL. So we'll go back to our Workflow account, and then we'll simply zoom into a spot where we want to save our information. So for example, let's say I made a Quick Capture Inbox bullet. I'll just zoom into that, and I'll copy the URL. Or I can also go to the bullet menu for this item and click on Copy Internal Link. That'll also do the same thing. And again, we'll go back to the Apple Shortcuts app, and then we'll paste the URL in this second box right here. Once we've done that, we simply click Add Shortcut. So now the shortcut has been configured and saved. For example, we're on the Mac app, so I can now go to the menu bar. You'll find the uh, shortcuts icon here in the menu bar. You can click on that, and you'll see we now have the option to Save Idea. If I click on that, I'll get a little window here where I can just type whatever I want, text or URL, and then I can click on Done, and it'll be sent automatically to my Workflow account. Now, the first time you do this, you might be prompted to allow the connection between uh, the shortcut and the workflow account. So just be sure to click on allow. And so now we can also combine this shortcut with Siri by going, hey Siri, save idea. And it'll prompt us to speak and we can just say what it is that we want to save inside of workflow. And after that, it'll automatically send it to our account where we've decided to store it. Simple as that.